Hey there guys, this is Wesn8288 here and I'm back again with another of Fish and Planet guys. Yes, Fish and Planet now. Why have we come to Mudwater? Yes, and some of you will know straight away it is Mudwater. Well, obviously today we are going to be going after the Dendrofin Spoon. And then obviously after the Dendrofin Fish. Old monster. Now, obviously, as you can see, catch underwater items, tree barks. Great. And put them in your backpack. Fun. Well, obviously, as soon as we're doing this challenge... We may as well try and complete this challenge at the same time, the actual tree bark. So as it was in the description and tree barks. Now, we might actually do this at the same time as get the branches, because this is actually in the same location and same area. So, obviously for myself, I have brought my elemental spoon. Yes, my elemental, my basic elemental spoon. With obviously the Clisto MG2500. And as you can see, I have put a casting spoon on. Yes. Now, obviously, just in case, I have brought my Loki, which is a bit of a stronger rod, with obviously a line glider, and a base, a bass jig, I was going to say base jig then, a bass jig. It is an X series, which you get for free for, uh, I think it's either t uh, 30 days at one of the islands, or from the sport events, but it's easy to get one of them anyway, uh, but I shouldn't use this to actually try and get the bark, I might have to though, if it comes a bit over time right so obviously we're starting down here and you can see it i know i've had a bit of time pass because i was here trying to catch it um now obviously if you want to get the tree bark or branches i should say i should say branches because that's the correct one yes branches try and aim for this branch here and you should get mostly uh, branches i was gonna say tree bark then now the spot you want to try and get the tree bark from is from these trees over here. Now you can either fish from this side, or if we go around a bit. Dun, 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 dun. You can fish from this side. So we'll get our actual one that we're going to use to try and catch this. Hopefully I will get one. Now obviously you can, sometimes when you cast an aim that shows it's fine. Oh, it finally actually went. Usually, if you cast from the right side or overhead, it will sometimes. Ah, we didn't snag. It won't cast. It will say that it's hit ground. And I'm not going to be able to get it, so I'll have to try again. So let's see. Is it going to cast from the left? It is. Sweet. Let's try the mark. Ah, I have shot it. Uh, this can take a bit of time guys uh, hopefully it won't take too long if it does and as you see because I cast it from the right side not the left which I wish you could actually choose which side you cast it from being a spinner reel and it went overhead luckily try a speed one that might work now obviously with mud water this lake is actually running running water means the water is going to go from either uh, from the left side to the right here. So your spoon will go into it. Now you could use a float, uh, whichever makes it a bit easier for you guys. So if you wanted, you could cast out a little bit. Yeah, we obviously we're going to get a bit of a collector. You could use a float, try and drag it into it and get it snagged. It is up to you, but it means you'll be losing bait. See, and again, even though I cast from the left, I hit the tree. Again, it can be a bit annoying. So we're going to overcast. As you see, hit, and that's it. So, even though we're now going after bark, I'm going to change it so I can see which bark I get. So, because we know we need to get at least five bark, but we need to get four different types. Come on, no, I want to cast this way. This way, I want to cast that way, okay? Cast from overhead. Still hits the tree. So, for some reason, it just always doesn't want to land, even though it's blue. It's because what it's doing is the law's going through the stump or the tree. It's going to be a bit annoying. So, hopefully, I'll get left cast. <laughs> it's not one of these. Now, you can cast a bit more out, like over here. Ten, have I got a click on this? No, I can't click on that. So let's hopefully get this snagged. 
to this background check. I want to snag him. No, I want you to just snag, and you can snag because you're getting the bass. Unfortunately, you can get the fish if you go too far. Right, let's try and get it snagged. There we go, got snagged that time. And we should have got another piece of bark. Which one it is, I have no idea, it just says bark. So that's the same bark. Pretty sure you're supposed to be able to get all the barks from here. It's going to be finicky. <laughs> but at least now we've got two barks. So <laughs> Dang it, one. So let's go for over there. I might get it in a bit easier. No, oh, I have to aim that way. Again, I've got to try and aim this so the law goes through the tree. And it went too far. It went straight through. That's not great news. And it hit the stump. <laughs> I can't believe that. So this can, like I say, be a little bit... Oh my god! A little bit of a finicky thing. See, it's casting from the right. I want it to cast from the left. <sighs> no, you actually you did go in. But unfortunately, you're not going to get to where I need you to. <laughs> so yeah, this challenge can be a little bit finicky trying to get the bark. Actually, we'll put it back to the actual thing. Because I don't know if I'm going to get them all in this mission. So I'm not going to worry about it. But we'll see how many barks I do get if I do get it done. If not, I'll go through the branches and just show you. Oh my god, come on. I know a lot of you are going to be saying, why don't you just aim for the first one? It'll be easier. Yeah, it could be. Uh, just sometimes it can be just finicky trying to get it onto it, especially if you don't see it just right either, see and that just bop down, because I don't see where this line is now, I have no idea, whereabouts it is, Aim for there. Of course, it's going to hit the tree again. Dang it. Um, now, there is. I don't know if it's going to be a branch or if it's going to be bark itself. It could try over here because there is a log in the water. Just beyond these reeds. As you did see from a bit of a distance, you can see it's just there. Unfortunately, getting snagged onto that isn't one of the easiest things to try and do. So, you know, unless you guys know exactly how to hit it onto the log and get it, you know, you guys will be fine. But for me, this is going to take a little bit of time. So what I'll do is I'll come back in every time I get snagged. Uh, well, once I said bring each bark in, I should say. So hopefully, guys, this shouldn't take me much longer. I'm hoping this one. And there's another one. Which is good. And I actually got a stick, see? So you can get sticks as well. So let me just check my inventory. I'm now full. So I have to now discard that. So as you see, branches. So I had enough branch. Now, just in case someone's wondering, I think I can. Please to say it doesn't get rid of one. Because if it does, I'm going to be annoyed. No, see, so you can get rid of them after you put them in your backpack. As long as they've gone in your backpack, you can get rid of them. As you can see, I've still got two barks. Obviously, one bark there, one branch there. 
So you can get branches from this side as well. Um, it is more commonly known that you can get the branches from this side though, more than anything else. That went straight through where I was aiming at. That's not good news. Well, as soon as there's a fish, then I might as well get it. Make a bit of cash at the same time. Hey. And I got the trophy breast pickle. I was after actually one of them. <laughs> Yay, it's a number of fish. But yeah, I think I actually got my trophy for... Where one? Which one is it? Yeah, so I need to now as another one pike and get that trophy complete. Unfortunately, that won't be either till White Moose Lake or St. Croix. Which obviously I will do a video on. So, ah, are you kidding me? I'm going straight through that. Probably too quick. That's the reason why it's going straight through. Don't mind. I'll try again. Let's hopefully not hit the tree. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Let's try going down to one and see if that works better. Just missing it, aren't I? Yes, but I'm getting the fish at the same time. <sighs> of course, I'm getting the fish. Oh well, I'm not going to worry too much. Let's try casting out far enough. And I'm going to try shifting to the side, see if that works a little bit. Come on, we just want tree bark. We just want tree bark. We just want tree bark. We're not after anything else. We're just after tree bark. Of course, the fish interferes at the same time. So yeah, guys, like I said, I'll be back once I've got the other ones coming in. Or at least I'll show you them coming in anyway. Alright, back in a bit, guys. And that is number three, guys, and that's definitely a different park this time. Obviously, I've had to change my rod uh, because I just wasn't catching anything. So let's see what bark cart got me this time. That got me the pine, so there's birch and oak left out of the two. I need at least two more of these. So, like I say, I'm going to try and hopefully get the other two barks. Like I say, this can take a bit of time. So, again, guys, please do bear with me. Uh, you don't need to have a really strong uh, spinner for this or casting reel. So you should be able to just get it. But it will take a little bit of time to get them caught and snagged up. And that has completely overflown it. So I'm going to try and get this one. Come on. <sighs> yeah, I'll be back, guys. And this should be number four. Awesome. So we need one more. Come on, can I just bring it in very slowly across that little bit of here? I need a bit more to just lift and drop, see if that gets me here. Apart from hopefully the fish. Dang! Yeah, this bark one can be a little bit tricky, especially if you hit the tree like you just did there. Uh, right, I want to go that way. Come on. No! You son of a... I wish you could just go up to a tree and just go... <laughs> interact, interact, interact. It'd be so much easier. Ah, uh, come on. Right, let's see if we can just aim it there. Side. Just slightly, maybe it will get snagged itself. Mm. No, 
that's too short now. Okay, I'll be back once it's snagged. And that should be it. That is number five at my buck. Awesome. Not sure which one this is. It's a bit bigger than the others, I think. So we got that one completed. Did we get the other challenge completed as well? At least we've got the Dendro Spoon. Sweet. That's now in our backpack. Yes, the Christmas spent one's going. Which now brings us up the mud water dendro pin. So, how many bark we've got? We've got two out of the four, so I'm not going to wait too much. And obviously, we've got a couple of branches to still get. So, obviously, in the next episode, we will be going for the dendro fin monster. Now, just in case anyone's wondering, before you actually come here, I should have mentioned this at the start, before you come to this location, Please, guys, check the weight of what the monster is. Now, the monster is 15 pounds. That's the heaviest. So, you're looking for a net which can take a single weight of a fish of 15 pounds. Now, luckily, my net can take a max of a single fish, which it doesn't keep the information up on there. Um, so, you'll be looking where this line is right now. It should be where you see max single fish weight. 22 pounds. Obviously, my total net weight is 88 pounds, so it's not too bad. So, that is what we're looking for is a max single weight of a fish, so you know exactly where you can keep that fish. Now, if I had something that was a lot less, like I have had, I wouldn't be able to keep the fish. I'd get it and throw it away. But luckily, we've got a fish that should take the weight itself. So, yeah, this is the fish we'll be after next. And obviously, we will be using the, the Dendro spoon for our rod. Now, can this rod, sorry, take risk of damage? So, unfortunately, this spoon is actually too heavy for my rod. So, that's why I brought another spoon, spinner rod, just in case. Now, obviously, this rod's a bit too light for it, but it should be fine. Um, and obviously, I should have had it in lower weights for actual kilograms and stuff, ounces, because I can't tell. Uh, but, yeah, obviously, there's a minimum and maximum. Unfortunately, this law is too heavy for this altogether again same as goes for this it'll be too short so what i'll do just in case anyone's wondering just in case i'll do this so people can see exactly why my law is either too heavy or too light technically i could do that for you guys to see what the metric differences are but this is the first time i'm going to do this so you can see the difference between the metric and the imperial a bit yeah, we know that. I'm just keeping a friendly one. I don't, I don't care about that bit. Let me just do that. Obviously, I'll be putting it back to my normal one anyway. Right. So, obviously... Uh, centimeters. Well, I don't know, I've been going for 124 centimeters. I must have a leader. Wow, that's for 50. <whistles> anyway, it's not, where it, no, it's not what we're looking at. Right, so, obviously... The lower weight that this rod can take is 5 to 12 grams. The one that this one, this lower weight can take is 20 to 65 grams. So I'll put that back in name though, obviously, here. So that weight is 14 grams. So straight away, we know that is too light for this and way too heavy for this by 2 grams. So if you were going to get a spinning rod, I would suggest maybe the value spinner because as you can see here, 5 to 18 grams. So maybe the value spin. That's actually not bad considering that is actually, that can hold more weight than what that can. Uh, okay. Yeah, that is a spin rod. Okay. But yeah, value spin. All right. Well you, don't, well, you don't really want that unless you're going to use bait coin, but I think that's actually a float rod. No, that, no, that's a casting rod. So if you're going to go for casting, you could go for something like that. But obviously, that's bait coin. We're not going to pay out for bait coin, and I wouldn't suggest it. So, yeah, guys, a value spin may be a lot better because it can take the lower. But unfortunately, I didn't bring that. But look, I brought an extra thing anyway, just in case. Anyway, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully it helps you out for catching the bark. 
Um, so, like I say, while you're doing the bark mission, or getting the bark, you may end up getting the bark, or the branches ticked off. Uh, it's going to take me a bit of time to get these completed off. I might do them in my spare time, but I'm not going to complete them today, even in the next episode. But hopefully you enjoyed, and in the next episode we are going to go for the Dendrophin monster. So, if you did enjoy today's episode, guys, please do hit that like button, and if you haven't already, please just subscribe. Obviously, as you guys may know by now, I do quite a load of live streams, mostly on the weekends. If there's a hard day season, I usually try and do a stream almost once or twice a day. Um, so, if you want and come along, please do. Uh, if you have any questions about Fish and Planet, you know you can either leave them down in the comment section down below, or you can leave them in the live stream chat, and I should be able to answer you the answer the questions there, or I'll do a video. And I'll answer them in the next video that I do for the Fish and Planet from when you've asked me the question or the live stream. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all back on the lake pretty early in the morning. So don't forget to bring your rods and reels, and we'll come and get some monsters. All right, see you later, guys. Bye for now, and enjoy, and happy fishing.